Yes. Indeed. Stop right there, outsider. The Dalish have camped in this spot. I suggest you go elsewhere, and quickly. I find that hard to believe. What business could we Dalish possibly have with a group like yours? Grey Warden. How do I know you're telling the truth? No, that's true. Perhaps I shall let the Keeper decide for himself. In the camp, I suggest you keep your hands to yourself, and remember that our arrows are still trained on you. Follow me. I see we have guests. <coughs> and a hound amongst them. As if we haven't had enough problems with such creatures. <laughs> Who are these strangers, Mithra? I have precious little patience and less time to spend on outsiders today. This one claims to be a Grey Warden and wishes to speak with the clan. I thought it best to leave the decision to you. That was wise of you. Masirinus, Mithra, you may return to your post. Manuvinen Keeper. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I am Zaprian, the Keeper of this clan. Its guide and preserver of our ancient lore. And you are? Manners. From a Shemlin. Interesting. What might be your mission here? Have you come to spread news of the Blight? I had already sensed the corruption spreading in the south. The existence of the Blight is not news to me. I would have taken the clan north by now, had we the ability to move. Sadly, as you can see, we do not. Yes, it seems like you've had your own troubles. What are the odds? I imagine you are here regarding the treaty we signed centuries ago. Unfortunately, we may not be able to live up to the promise we made. This will require some explanation. Please, follow me. The clan came to the Brazilian forest one month ago, as is our custom when we enter this part of Ferelden. We are always wary of the dangers in the forest, but we did not expect the werewolves would be lying in wait for us. They ambushed us. And though we drove the beasts back, much damage was done. Many of our warriors lie dying as we speak. Even with all our magic and healing skill, we will eventually be forced to slay our brethren to prevent them from becoming beasts. The Blight's evil must be stopped. But we are in no position to uphold our obligations. I am truly sorry. The affliction is a curse that runs rampant in their blood, bringing great agony and then ultimately either death or a transformation into something monstrous. The only thing that could help them must come from the source of the curse itself. And that... that would be no trivial task to retrieve. Within the Brazilian forest dwells a great wolf, 
We call him Witherfang. It was within him that the curse originated, and through his blood that it has been spread. If he is killed and his heart brought to me, perhaps I could destroy the curse. But this task has proven too dangerous for us. I sent some hunters into the forest a week ago, but they have not returned. I cannot risk any more of my clan. I must warn you that more than werewolves lurk in the Brazilian forest. It has a history full of carnage and murder, you see. Where there is so much death, the veil separating the spirit realm from our own becomes thin, allowing spirits to possess things, living or dead. But if you can indeed help, then I wish you luck. Then I suggest you see Master Verathorn. I will instruct him to put aside some supplies for you, the kind that the hunters use. I must return to caring for my people. Creator's speed on your way. How do we move these things through the forest? Uh, hello? Uh, of course. I'm, I'm very sorry. It's just that we don't get many visitors. Uh, like you, I mean. Of your kind. Oh, of course. It's just that they don't... I mean, you don't... Oh, I should start over. I am Kamen, a hunter apprentice. Though I wish I could become a real hunter. Talking about this to an outsider, you wouldn't understand. I suppose there's no harm in it. It's not like you can help me. I've been an apprentice for too long. To become a true hunter, I must bring back the pelt of a beast I killed myself. A boar or a wolf or something. I wanted to hunt in the forest, but we're forbidden to enter because of the attack. But the real problem is Gaina. She's my heart's desire. I have asked for her hand, but she cruelly refuses it. She will not bond with an apprentice, she says, and calls me a child. I am no child. If I was a hunter, I could prove it, but I cannot hunt and... Gaina will never bond with me. I feel so helpless. Uh, I shouldn't have brought it up. Just leave me to my misery. You think I haven't thought about this? There's nothing I can do. No, I, I couldn't do that. I must kill the beast myself. It is my rite of passage to become a full hunter. I suppose you could, but what good would that do? The situation hasn't changed. Wooing? I don't understand. A gift? No, that wouldn't be appropriate. Not before we're married. 
I've serenaded her, and we've talked many times under the moon. But that doesn't matter if I'm still an apprentice. Not to her. No! We've never done anything like that. Never. <laughs> 